Welcome to another edition of Mommy TMI with More Than Mommies. I'm Janine, and um, I've decided to sit down at my sister's house today and record my Mommy TMI because at my house we're getting ready for Super Bowl party preparations and all that are going on, so I figured it'd be nice and quiet for me to get this done here before I go home and uh, party with my family. So... This month, we're going to do one Mummy TMI a month from now on, and this month we have Groundhog's Day, we have Valentine's Day, and we have the Olympics. So we decided to use those three events when we came up with our questions. Our first question is, what is the best and the worst Valentine's Day you've ever had? Um, the worst Valentine's Day is much easier for me to come up with than the best Valentine's Day. Uh, the worst Valentine's Day by far was um, when I was dating Jerry, and he was up at State College, and I was home, and Valentine's Day was on a Wednesday. Now, the only bad thing about this, it wasn't that I had a horrible time. I did miss Jerry. I was kind of, you know, bummed out that we weren't going to see each other and all of that, but it was free pitcher night at Tully's, and um, I had to work the next day. So that was not a good Valentine's Day because I was, you know, oh, it's Valentine's Day. We're by ourselves, and me and my friend Kelly drank a, a little bit more than we should have that night, and the next day was a really rough one for us. <laughs> um, best Valentine's Day, I would have to say the best Valentine's Day was one when um, Jerry was in State College again, but I went up to visit him, and we went out and we saw a movie. I think it was um, Sweet November, and we got Chinese food, and we ate Chinese food on a blanket, um, you know, sitting there on pillows, talking like we didn't watch tv the rest of the night we talked we went out we had a good time but it wasn't it was just very low-key just very you know nice it was nice and I think that was probably like the first adult valentine's day I had because you know I was not at home I was away Shh, don't tell my mom <laughs> anyway so uh I might be blushing <laughs> the next question is um what superstition do you have? You know, there's all these people that believe in the superstition that if the groundhog sees his shadow, which he did, the little shit, um, that we're going to have six more weeks of winter. And if he doesn't, then we're going to have an early spring. Uh, I read somewhere that that's like only 39% accurate, so I'm not overly concerned about it. But I would have to say that um, one of the superstitions I have... Um, gosh, I don't know that I really have any. We're a big sports team family, town, so our, most of our superstitions revolve around sports. Things like um, when the Pens were in the Stanley Cup, I had a friend who had to wear the same underwear every time they played a game because he said if he didn't wear those underwear that they were going to lose. Those are the kind of superstitions we have at our house. Um, things like, you know, if they're if they won the game when you were in that seat, you have to sit in that seat for the rest of the playoffs or... Um, when they were in the stand, when the pens were in the Stanley cup, I think it was probably about three years ago, maybe four. Um, every time I went up to the bathroom, they scored a goal. So anytime that we were down by any amount, I had to go upstairs and pretend I had to go to the bathroom so we could score a goal. So those are the kind of superstitions that we have in our family. Uh, the last question, if parenting was an Olympic sport, what would you get a gold medal in? Um, I talked to Jerry about this, and I said, what do you think I would get my gold medal in? And uh, he said, uh, having babies. But I don't, I mean, I have four, but I don't think that that really uh, counts as a parenting skill because, you know, anybody that's a parent or has, it's just not a skill. It just happens, really. <laughs> um, but I, I said multitasking because if you look at it, you know, I'm so much into multitasking my last pregnancy. I had two babies instead of one. I just got it all over with right there. Um, plus, I think I also multitask a little bit too much. I uh, I think maybe my Olympic medal would be in patience. I'm a lot more patient than my husband. I have a lot more patience than most people when it comes to kids, even my own. Less patience with my own than I do other people's kids, but I think maybe patience and... Um, I don't all I'm not always patient, trust me, but I think that I do kind of have more patience than a lot of people. So, I'd have to say patience. 
there you have it. There's this week's Mommy TMI. I hope that you will answer the questions yourself and then uh, link up with us below on the linky. It'll be up for the whole month of February. So anytime in February that you want to link up and let us know, we'll tweet it out. We'll share it on Facebook. We'd love to hear your answers. Thanks so much and have a fantastic February.